All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, or Kakwadash. Want to say double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. And as always, giving a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And, um, you know, I'm driving my, I was driving my kids to school this morning and I'm just listening to uh, <laughs> my man, Steve Harvey. All right. The Steve Harvey morning show, which is normally on the radio every morning on the, uh, the station, you know, most Jake's listen to where I'm at, where I'm located in, in New York state. And, uh, you know, I didn't really even know that today was, uh, you know, so-called international women's day all right and basically what they're doing on the radio is uh uplifting these women all right and uh you know saying how they need to have a voice and that they need that they need to uh show their power okay and ultimately that's the vibration of this society man okay america babylon the great because I remember uh, listening to something and basically what it was saying was America, the name America, okay, is in as is, is uh, an effeminate name, okay? America, because who was America named after? America was named after Amerigo Vespucci, okay? And what they did was they took the name of Amerigo and they feminized it to America because America was the more feminine name okay it fit more of a, a, a you know a, a ladylike vibration okay and that's ultimately that's spiritual because what is America known as in the, in the holy scriptures America is known as the great whore that sit up upon many waters and it's referred to alright as a woman now, like I said, that's just, you know, something spiritual to think about. Now, going back to uh, so-called International Women's Day, basically what they're doing is uplifting these women, which these women don't need to be uplifted, man. Okay? There's so much pride in this society, and these women are on the pedestal, and that's one of the reasons why this society is all out of whack, man. Because of the woman having so much uh, uh, freedom and power. Okay, and they feel entitled to, 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 to certain things. All right, they feel like they can tell a man what to do, which the scriptures say what the Lord have created a new thing in the earth, roughly paraphrasing a woman shall compass a man. Okay, so ultimately, this is all set up by the most high. Okay, but in the kingdom of heaven, when the Israelite man is in rulership. Because right now the Israelite man is not in rulership. Esau, Edom is in rulership. And the scriptures say that he's turned everything upside down. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be what? Esteemed as the potter's clay. So this man has society and uh, 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 in creation, period, all out of whack. Okay? So like I said, when the Israelite man gets back in power... Everything in the earth is going to go back to its natural state, its natural order. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, okay? The Israelite man, the Israelite woman, and the Israelite child. And all you heathen nations will be under the Israelites. The world will be under Israelite rulership. There ain't going to be no damn International Women's Day, man, where we uplift the woman. There's not going to be a need for International Women's Day in the kingdom of heaven because ultimately our women are going to have servants and handmaids. They're going to do everything. Everything's going to be in order. They're not going to need to feel so-called uplifted because even our women are going to be over to other nations, man. So these women in this society, they feel entitled. Oh, happy International Women's Day. They're walking around. They're prideful. They're looking down on certain men. You know, 
They talking about how these women have voices and power. And that's the damn problem, man. That's the damn problem. One of the problems. They got too much uh, uh, leeway in this society, man. And that's why a lot of these women, okay, I don't want to, you know, say the word. But a lot of them are out here in the streets being you know what. Because they got too much damn liberty, man. Too much liberty. And when they hear the scriptures, see the scriptures put you women where you're supposed to be. Okay? Now, there's a balance to it because I know this sounds like a... <laughs> a, a some people might watch this and say, this this dude, is he's a... He's, what do they call it? Sexist. No, there's a balance to it, man. Women are speaking about our nation, okay? And pretty much any nation, all right? Women are... Women are uh, a very, very important role in the family. Okay, they have a very, very important role in, in, in families. But in this, what I'm saying is, in this society, you have too much damn freedom, man. See, even in Esau society back in the 1940s, the 1930s, the 1950s, what did the women do? They cooked, they took care of the children, they cleaned the homes. Okay, they were they were in they were in order in those days, pretty much. You know, the man went out to work. The man worked, brought the food home. The woman cooked the food. All right. The wife nurtured the child until you know a certain age, and the man would take over. Unless you had like a daughter, then you know you, you, the woman would teach the woman how to be a woman. If it was a son, you know your. Uh, the, the mother would nurture the, the, the boy until it was time for him to grow up and now it's, it's his dad's turn to teach him how to be a man. That's how things were back in those days. You know? But now these women got baby daddies. They out in the streets. They can have abortions whenever they want to. Too much damn freedom, man. So the bottom line is this. International Women's Day is, a, is garbage. Okay? Esau might flag this video because... He talking about women Whatever man Alright International Women's Day is garbage You women don't deserve to be uplifted Okay And speaking about our woman The Israelite woman In the kingdom of heaven You're going to be back in your right mind And that's the day that we waiting on Okay So Hey And the scriptures tell us what In 2nd Ezra 16 It's going It's about to be Not, not such a good time for these women it says, uh, their bridegroom shall mourn having no husbands. All right. Man. Anyway, I just wanted to say that, man. So you brothers may hear a lot in the world today or oh, International Women's Day and all this. Hey, man. Whatever. Hey, Shalom.